Cage Wars is brought to you in association with Cage Wars Premium Apparel. Introducing first, to my right, fighting out of Chuck Sut Lisbon, standing six feet four inches and weighing in at 79 kilos, Mal McFall! And his opponents, fighting out of P. Belfast, Ireland in the Odyssey Arena. Quite an impressive arena, I might, uh, might add. This is uh, our first fight of the night. Looking forward to this matchup between Malachi McFall and Paul McCourt. Malachi in the green and white trunks, McCourt in the camos. Here we go, round one underway. Good pressure by McCourt there, but uh, looks like McCourt did a good counter over there, but uh, Going for the rolling arm bar. He can straighten him out. He might be able to execute the arm bar. Yeah, he needs to pop his head up and 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 lock that arm. He also has like a reverse triangle. Oh, he let go of the triangle there, but there's also a triangle possibility over there. But uh, he needs to lock that head and, and roll him and pop that head out. Trying to execute right now. McCourt showing some good defense and uh, gets out of the position. Waves uh, McCall up. So McFall and McCourt stand back up on their feet, right back to where we began. You can see McFall has the distinct height advantage over McCourt. McCourt seems uh, the more aggressive fighter, though. Seems to be pressing the fight. I think uh, McCall is looking more for a counter. But uh, he switched it now, and he's, uh, he's going for the single, pushing him against the cage, showing good aggression, good determination. Trying to compose the triangle is McCourt from his back, from the guard. McCourt uh, pretty good in the guard. He needs to pop that left leg out and uh, maybe go for a close. Uh, seems to be pretty apt, but he needs to be more busy in the bottom as uh, McCall tries to go for a pass. This is McFall's sixth amateur fight. He's 4-1, fighting out of Chumsut, Lisbon. You know, and, uh, and it's great seeing these fights. Uh, you know, they, they show a chance to develop, try new techniques. You know, these amateur guys taking the next step up. And, and it's good to see, you know, they're trying to work out the chinks in the armor. One minute to go here in the opener. I think, uh, I think McFall should be a little bit more busier on top. He's got a good position now. Uh, McCourt's got him in his guard. He should be a bit more busy. It seems like uh, McCourt is pushing the pace, but he must have heard me there, Jay. <laughs> now, interesting, I'm, I'm still familiarizing myself with the amateur rules here in in uh, Great Britain, in the United Kingdom. Oh, there, as you see. Oh, beautiful Kimura there by McCourt. He's got it locked. Yeah, he's got both legs locked up, too, in the full closed guard. He's in good position. He can just, uh, if he just pops that elbow out, he can get this. Um, he should apply more pressure there. Maybe grab his own wrist. He's almost got it. Ten seconds to go in the round. Can he finish it? He's peppering that rib as well. Maybe he should pepper a bit more and he can pop that rib out. But uh, the bell saves McFall there. Now, interesting situation. When McFall postured up, Bobby, he was hammer fisting, but not to the face. It looked like he was specifically going for the chest. Is that a rule here in the United Kingdom with the Amis? You cannot hammer fist to the face? We'll take a look at the action, and uh, you know, I'm just curious as to why he didn't let the hands go on the face. Nice takedown there nice by take McFall. Down. Yeah, it goes for side, puts pressure. I believe that's the case, Jay. I think uh, 
uh, the amateur rules only allows uh, strikes to the body, and you can see it right now. He has ample opportunity to hit the face, but yeah, you know, we want to keep the amateur fighters safe, help them develop, and this is the way to do it, you know? Let them learn the game first before you throw them in with the Sharks. Absolutely, Jay. Well, who would you give that first round to? It's a tough one, you know, kind of back and forth. I think McFall might have edged it with the takedown, a side control. Uh, he landed a shot to the chest, maybe McFall by an edge. What do you think, Jay? I, I agree with you. It was a very close round and could have gone either way, but McCourt did have the takedown, so we'll give him a 10 niner. Here we go. Round two. It's scheduled for three or two three minute rounds. This is the last round of this fight. You know, McCourt putting good pressure, and I think. Uh, McFaul likes to uh, do the counter when he puts him on his back and on half guard. So um, McFaul should definitely be busy from his position, you know, put him against the cage, go for the pass, push that knee out. It's great to see these fights, you know, these guys are, are, are working the chinks in their armor, you know. You can see the nerves in their face, you can see how they're reacting and, you know, it's great development, Jay, at this stage for them to get to the next level, I think. Good experience in a big cage, in a big arena, in a big show. That's the way. Cage Wars Championship giving away their first belt of the entire history of the show. Giving away a lightweight belt tonight. Lightweight tourney. We'll talk a little bit more about that as the fight goes on tonight. You know, McFall putting a bit more pressure onto McCaw, uh hammering the ribs away. Uh, he's kind of nullified. Uh, McFall has nullified McCourt's guard quite good. Uh, McFall re and McCourt needs to be very busy now if he wants to get a win here. But um, it's all uh, it's all McFall right now. McCourt hammering the ribs, but uh, it might be a little bit too late. Um, McFall establishing a nice dominance in the half guard. Yeah. yeah, interesting to see how the judges score it with less than 30 seconds to go in the fight. If you give the first round to McCourt, give the second round to McFall, this is going to be a razor thin fight. It's definitely a McFall's round, though. He's putting the pressure on top, um, hammering the ribs. You know, McCourt does need to be a bit more busy here, but, um, you know, he's not. He's got that kind of Kimura look a little bit. He's, uh, he needs to pop that elbow a bit more. It's now or never, Jay. Now or never for McCourt to try to pull a rabbit out of the hat. You know, conditioning playing a factor here too. You know, a lot of these uh, these newbies are burning a lot, and I think that's what's going on with McCall. He seems to be breathing a little bit more heavy now. And uh, McCall hammering away. McFall, sorry, hammering away the body. Final seconds of the round. Final 25 seconds for McCourt to get very busy here. As you said, this is a McFall round. You know, as McFall, you know, uh, progresses in the game too, he can maybe go for more passes, you know, side controls, and really, you know, up the ampy, ampy now, because uh, he's got ample position to go for more moves, but he's uh, he's also content just to hammer the body away. You know, Jay, at, at, about, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's up to McCourt to make the fight here, you know? 10 seconds to go in the fight. There they go, the hands. And McFall had the, had the mount in the first round too. I think McFall's going to win this fight. No doubt, uh, he took he took that round strongly, I think, and hammered away at McCourt's body, and uh, he looked very good there. So a good fight for Maliki McFall. This was his sixth amateur fight. If he can come out of this match with the win, he will move to 5-1 and one as an Amy. All right, take a quick break when we return the decision and more great fights from Belfast, Ireland. Stay with us. You know, uh, McFall attacking the body there. You know, amateur rules once again, you know, you can't hit the head. Um, I think McCourt would have been in trouble if it was pro rules there, Jake. Hard in the flurry of action not to uh, miss your mark a bit. It was definitely not, there was no malintent on those punches. It just, it's a scramble. The heat gets on and sometimes you, you know, you forget where you're at sometimes, you know, Jay? <laughs> very easy to happen. Yeah, it's yeah. Very easy to happen. No doubt. McFall raising his hand. I think he knows he's got it.
McCourt joins him. <laughs> anything you can do, you got to lobby. It's politics, Jay. <laughs> it's like anything else. Yep. You need the win. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> got to rally the crowd. That's right. <laughs> Comes the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after two rounds, this fight has gone to a unanimous judge's decision. The winner of the fight, Mao Mako! Cage Wars is brought to you in association with Cage Wars Premium Apparel.